we're having a conversation this afternoon with Representative Donna Shively, whose district in Indiana represents portions of Hamilton and Boone counties. So Donna, uh, the summer respite from everything going on, although not for long because summer study comes up soon. But if you thought about some things, maybe in the future, maybe in the past that might be back, legislation that's interesting to businesses in Hamilton County, what comes to mind? Um, well, two pieces, of, two pieces of legislation that I've been looking at and thinking about uh, doing something for the upcoming session are uh, has to do. One has to do with the high health care costs in Indiana. I don't know if you've seen um, mm -hmm. uh, articles in the paper about the Rand study about the high hospital costs in Indiana, um, as well as there's, uh, I mean, just the growth in the premium prices for businesses and uh, their employees uh, since nineteen since uh, 1999, the cost of employee and, and uh, employer com uh, contribution for health care uh, uh, premiums has gone from roughly from less than $6,000 to almost $20,000. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that is not a sustainable thing. So I, we really do need to work on that. And uh, there's a lot of things going, several things going on on the federal level mm -hmm. as well. So I'm uh, kind of looking into what we can do to help uh, the free market to resolve those problems, some of those problems. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, also, if if you had a magic wand and you could tomorrow, maybe yet this afternoon, pass a single piece of legislation in Indiana that you would guarantee it would happen, what what might be that pick? Uh, well, for me, you know, I worked on the dark stores legislation last year, which is important to your businesses, to all businesses in Indiana. Uh, and that is when uh, a large, the large uh, box stores, uh, they appeal their tax assessment and try to get it lowered based, and they try to have it based on vacant stores in say, maybe not as nice an area. And um, it drastically reduces their tax uh, bills. Mm -hmm. However, it passes that on to other small businesses right. and it affects our schools, um, you know, everything. So I'm, I really would like to bring that back and see if that if we could get something done on that this year. Good. So this might be something that returns it in is, the next session. Right. We're, right now we're waiting for some court uh, rulings to see cool. where that goes and um, we're going to regroup after those hearings come down. I think September 5th we're supposed to get that information. and. Um, uh, we're all going to get together and see what we can do to, to, for next year because it's, it's an important issue. Terrific, terrific. Anything keeping you up at night over the summer? Um, well, um, always you worry about school safety. I mean, that's probably for me the, the thing as far as our, our fear. You're always worrying that something's going to happen, you know, with our, our kids. Um, I mean, we've done some great things in Indiana as far as that uh, mm -hmm. is concerned. Um, uh, but, and I think the red flag, the uh, Jake Laird red flag, the improvements we made on that last year, that the, le the legislation that I authored, um, I think are, are, you know, a great step in the right direction of keeping firearms out of the hands of dangerous uh, uh, people that are in imminent danger to themselves or others. Um, so, but you know, you always, I mean, you can't think of everything and you're all, I think that's something that I'm always very concerned about. Understand. Yeah. Well, we look forward to the next session and working with you again. I look forward to working with you. I always do. Super.